Hi, this is Catherine from Cascade Tech, and I'd like to show you some of the basic features of our Watlow Easy Zone Control on our forced air ovens. The Watlow Easy Zone Control has an, a lot of information displayed on this panel, and all of the buttons you'll need to use to interface are right here in the front as well. The first thing you should know is that the upper display is the process temperature. This is the application temperature. Right now, it's 20.9 degrees C in my office. The green display is for the set point. This oven is set at zero degrees. It's configured straight from the factory in C, and in a following video, we'll show you how to change that from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Zone one and channel one are always that way, and there's a flashing number one right here. We call that the heartbeat of the control. This is sending a signal about every second to the RS-485 communication port on the back of the oven. So if you were using communication software, this is how often, how frequently, the oven is sending out its status message. Easy one button activates profile one, and easy two turns it off. You have a reset button, the green advance key, and the up and down arrows. The simplest way to use the oven is um, without any profile at all, just by using the up and down arrows to set the temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and run the temperature up using the up arrow. You could do this on your oven. Set it for, let's say, 150 degrees. And what you'll notice right down here is that the number two light comes on solid. That is output two, and that is sending a message to the heaters to come on at 100% because the current temperature is a long way away from the set point. As this temperature, this application temperature gets closer to the set point, this number two will pulse or flash, and that uh, shows you that the unit is heating up more slowly as it reaches set point in order to avoid overshoot. Right now, that's the basics. The unit's at 150, and if that was your set point, you could use it there, process your samples, and when you were done, come over and just run the set point back down. That's the easiest, most straightforward way to use the oven. In some of our other videos, watch the two. There it turns off because your set point is less than your current temperature, so the number two should never be on if it's in that condition. And this is the most straightforward way to use the controller. In some of our other videos, you will learn how to set a ramp and soap profile, how to set a multi-step ramp and soap profile, how to change from C to F, and how to set the integrated high limit thermostat. 